Hi, my name is Caitlin and welcome back to my channel. I have something a little bit different today. Uh, I'm kind of going back to my modern roots of this channel and I'm having a lot of fun doing it and that's because I have a secret project coming up that not many people know about. I wasn't even going to make this video, I was just going to paint this item that's in my hand right now and add it to the build and then you guys would just have seen the final product. But when I opened up the box I got really excited because this is actually a really cool item and I haven't seen it. I'm sure other companies have this as well, but as you guys know, I'm not too uh, deep into the water cooling world yet, so I'm still discovering new things and I thought this was a pretty cool item and I wanted to share it with you guys before I painted it uh, and then you can see the effects after I paint it too and we can kind of learn together. So as you know, with water cooling, you need a radiator or two and uh, both of my radiators that I have for my first build that I was just going to reuse are both black so my original plan was to cover them with sheets of acrylic and paint the acrylic white because I need an all white build for this secret project. When I suggested that to Alvacool they presented a different idea and they suggested this guy which is the Alvacool Eisbrecher. Sorry my German is not so good but this is a 240 millimeter 45 millimeter radiator and this thing is hefty this is a, a good amount of weight in this guy so when i first opened up the box i thought it was just going to be like a regular radiator but then i took it out and i realized that this is actually pretty awesome and i wanted to share it with you guys too because not only does it look like an amazing radiator, it just looks badass, but you can take off the side panels and customize them. So that's what we're gonna do today and that is going to fit my theme perfectly. So I'm gonna go outside and paint this guy and then I will show you the finished product. Actually, before I do that, let me show you what it looks like before I paint it, that would make sense, huh? So this is the radiator, let's take it out of And as you can see, you can take these side panels apart. And if you're wondering why it has a cable, it's because you can plug this into like a fan controller or a motherboard and this lights up. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these side panels apart and paint them white and we'll see what it looks like. They do make this radiator in both a 120 millimeter and a 360 millimeter. I just needed a 240 and I think I'm gonna use my other 360 that I already have because uh, you can't really see it in the way I'm doing it. Uh, but this one, it is going to be visible, so this one is going to get painted white. But as you can see, it's not just like a straight on radiator. I don't know if you can tell with the lighting in here, but it has like this mesh inside the panels before the fins of the radiator. But anyway, this is a pretty thick radiator. This is the 45 millimeter, you can see. And I'm telling you, this is hefty. Like. There's a lot of weight to this. So I'm going to paint it. Let me show you the paint that I'm using. This is the type, this is the paint that I use for most of my computer builds. I just really like it. I saw it suggested on another YouTuber's channel and it's worked really well for me. It's paint and primer. So it's kind of like all, one of those all in ones. I was actually using satin. Sorry, Sassy always drinks my video. I was uh, using satin, but I ran out of it, so this is gloss, which is kind of unfortunate, but I don't have time to wait for uh, or to go purchase satin. So we're gonna mix some satin and some gloss, and hopefully it'll work out okay. This is good for uh, metal, wood, plastic. I've used this on cases, fans. Oh, it's gonna be a radiator now, we'll see how that goes. What else have I used it on? I don't know, all kinds of things. So I do highly recommend this. This is a really good, and it dries really fast, and uh, I mean, it's just like a good spray paint. So I'm gonna go outside, take these panels apart, paint them, and then we'll see what we get. It's like they're regular radiators with housing on it. I get it. I'm sure this probably dampens the sound too. Metal on metal. 